Hey, what's up guys? Today I want to show you how I rig a soft plastic finesse fish with a jig head. So we have a five and three quarter inch finesse fish made by Lunker City. These are excellent lures for striped bass and a variety of species. And we have jig heads ranging from three eighths to one ounce. So for starters, it is important that the jig head match the size of the bait. So if I had a jig head with a giant 8-0 hook, it would not work well with a five and three quarter inch bait. Uh, if I was using a nine inch sluggle, for example, I would want a larger hook than this, okay? Um, so here's an example of one rig. It's on there nice and straight. It's very important that I rig this straight and it's not bunched up on that hook because that will cause it to spiral and it will not look right in the water. So to start, I'm gonna trim about an eighth of an inch off the front of the finesse fish to give it a flat surface to sit against the jig. Now I'm gonna put the jig against the bait and right where that hook comes out <clears throat> is where I wanna put a slit down the middle of the bait. I learned this from um, watching a video off of Rich Z's Bass Blog and this is actually a really great idea. So we wanna create that slit right down the center of the bait And what this is going to do, it's going to create an area for the hook to come out. So we're going to go dead center with the bait. We're going to put a little bit of crazy glue right on that collars of the jig head. That'll really help it hold and stay on the jig. Slide it up. And now you have a perfectly set jig head. The reason why I put that slit there is it allowed that hook to come through so the bait is not bunched up on the jig head. Also, as we're catching fish, it won't tear because we already put that slit there. So I really like that little tip. And that is a um, finesse fish that's rigged and ready to fish. It's ready to catch fish.